Gang, gang, we made it through Bobby Penn's first ever celebrity artist spotlight week. And boy, has it been a blast. We started the week off with Donnell Jones. Fast forwarded to Jawan and Tiffany. Their song finally is out today, by the way. Uh, fast forward, we talked to my big sis, Nikki Gilbert. Last night we had CC Michaela. And today we got somebody super, super special. I'm talking about the general, okay? R&B superstar Tank is in the building. So I'm going to go ahead and welcome him in. in the Guys, please go ahead and share this video. <laughs> what up, baby? How are you? Yes, Nola. How you doing, baby? I'm good, baby. You know, that's the red beans and rice over here your day. <laughs> How are you? It has been a while since we've spoken, friend. How you doing? I'm really good, man. Just, you know, uh, hanging out with the family, uh, finally getting back out in the street again, getting a little yes. work in, you know, a little comedy, a little music, and, um, you know, working out. Uh, all the same stuff, you know what I mean? I tried not to tried not to be so slowed down by the pandemic, tried to stay active, you know what I mean? And, of course, music as well. Nice, nice, nice. So talk to me about family life. I mean... Hey, Zena, with all due respect, sis, I love you. But how have your fans reacted to you getting married? You were off the market. It's been a couple years now, too, but how has um, that been? I, you know what? It's great. I think they reacted well. You know what I mean? It took them, I think, a second to acclimate to the idea of, you know, this is going to be my one woman. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I think once once they bought in, like, then she could do no wrong. Now it's more about her than me. You know what I mean? Right, you know, exactly. Her, like, well, I was about to say, we stick together. We yeah, now y'all done teamed up <laughs> against me. Like, you better treat her right and we don't come <laughs> see you. And I'd be at shows. I was I was at shows. Like, after we got married, I'd be doing shows and, and, and girls would come up to me like, where's Zena? Why you ain't bring Zena? <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, it's something that um, I think should be celebrated and that's needed because people need examples of you know, a good family life, man. Like, we don't, they don't give us enough of us um, being family and being solid, yes. you know, in mainstream. So, you know, we got to kind of create ways to do it ourselves. So that's why we started our Babs to the Bone um, YouTube so that people could see, you know, it's, it's, this shit is cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I was just going to mention kids. that. Yeah, so I love the YouTube series. It is funny. <laughs> it's funny, cool. And, you know, um, they're, they're the, the benefits to to having you know to being in this type of foundation man are just they're, they're just countless man you know what i mean to to really celebrating and really vibing with the people you love every day like it's, it's nothing better yes and little zion he's getting so big oh my god oh man he, he's getting big <laughs> he just he, he talking crazy uh, <laughs> He asked me last night. He's like, he's like, he's like, bro, what do you, who do you think you are, I'm bro? Like, <laughs> bro, I'm your father. What do you mean? <laughs> Let's start there. He gets it honest. He get no. Listen, he got his, he got his mouth <laughs> from his mama. So I get it. I get it. Yeah. So talk to me. How has quarantine been to you? I know you said you're getting back out and kind of trying to get back to some normalcy. But how have you been spending your time? You know, I've really been spending it here. I mean, you know, I, I, I kind of have everything that I need to be productive in my space from, from a gym to a studio to, you know what I mean, to the kids got everything they need, you know, a nice little pool. Um, they got a trampoline. Uh, That's trampoline. All, the, <laughs> all this cool stuff. You know, they got bikes. They got all, you know, anything you need. You know, we have it here. And so it was really, um, it was really great for me because I haven't been home like this in years. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so it really benefited me um, and really helped my wife out because I'm able to help her with the process. You know what I'm saying? Like, people don't, people don't really understand what it is to run a household. You know what I'm saying? Like, they discredit the wife in that space as if it's not a real function, like it's not a real job. Right. Like, having two kids and having to maintain a household and and please the husband is is more than a nine to five is more than a 24 seven like this is a 365 uh day a, a year type yeah. of thing and so you know by me being here i was able to take a lot of the pressure off of her 
you know what I mean, in terms of with the kids, in terms of just helping around the house, cleaning up, and being halfway a handyman. That's not my gift. I do music. I was going to say okay. you be hammers and screwdrivers and stuff. I, I do, do what I can. If okay. a couple of pictures happen to fall off, I try. <laughs> okay? I do music. That's what, that's what I do. So but, those muscles ain't just for show. Okay, got it. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> the muscles work, okay? It's just, it's, just, it's just the engineering degree that I don't have. I don't have an engineering degree. <laughs> um, but I think it's. I think it was a blessing for us. It was yeah. a blessing for us that we got to really lock in and spend time together. And I got to find... I got to find my role being here in the house. I know my role of the provider. I got that. But I also, you know, was able to develop a really cool role by being in the house. I think that was really big, what you just said. I, I was going to post it, but I haven't yet. A lot of men, I think particularly Black men, believe that the only way a man is valuable is by what he can provide in terms of finances. But there's more to relationships than that. So I kind of want you to go a little deeper. Like, <laughs> Well, there's way more because... It's also about identifying strengths and weaknesses um, and then um, taking those things and creating the teamwork, right? So like, I'm the guy with all of the energy. I'm the guy um, that, can, that can like wake up at the drop of a dime and go do whatever needs to be done. And my wife isn't. My wife was like, oh, God. <laughs> What are these kids? Why? You know what I mean? <laughs> so in knowing that, in knowing that I have the energy, like I'll take certain things just off of her plate. Mm. Right? And here's the strategy in that. I'll take certain things off her plate, if not a lot of things. Like I need to get this stuff folded and, and transfer the stuff from the washer dryer. I got that. Uh, and you say, I got, I got to go pick up Zion real quick. from the, I, I got that. You know what I'm saying? So what, what, what in essence this teamwork is providing more time and space for us. Because everything else takes one of us away from each other, right? Exactly. So the more that's on her shoulders, the more bogged down and weighed down she is by the time she gets to me. And by the time she gets to me, you know, she rolling over. <laughs> <laughs> She's tired. Yeah. We can't, we can't get a proper exchange. We can't, you know, have a lengthy conversation. We can't because... She's beat down. She's yeah. tired. She's, and so my job is to identify, as a man, where I can, where I can help and participate because I have the energy to. I can. There it is. I'll just put my feet up and, and drink my beer. Like mm, you, you see, you saw that bag I just brought home. This all on you. No, like when I come home, I'm like, you need anything? You need me to do anything? You need me to go anywhere? Need me to grab? Like that's what it should be, so that. The less stress she, the less stressful she is, the more she can be for me. Yeah, because I don't, exactly. don't want to lose my wife in all of this. I yeah. still want to have my wife. Oh, I hope y'all were taking notes, man. Like that's so real. <clears throat> Not to mention, it's something so sexy about watching a man wash dishes or fold clothes. Like that's the whole aphrodisiac right then and there. Like and it's funny because me out. <laughs> no, no, my wife be like, "Why don't you just put those in the dishwasher?" And me. Once I get into a rhythm of doing something, I have to finish it. My OCD mm. is weird like that. Like, so once I start washing the dishes by hand, I have to finish washing them by hand. I don't care how many of them it is. So I'm she like goes, Zena, put it in the dishwasher. Yeah, she's like, put all that in the dishwasher. I was like, I'm already going. I'm already yeah. going, I can't stop. Folding towels, I'm a hell of a folder. My mama taught me how to fold. My fold is Question, nice. do you fold, how do you fold? Three, like three sections? Does that make it sense? Just, it just depends. It depends. It depends on the space in the closet. So you got to look at ah. where you're trying to fit everything. <laughs> so if we got the 20, the 20 beach towels we're trying to fit in the top of the closet, okay, then that's going to be a three-way fold. Okay. okay? <laughs> all right. That's going to be more of a Twinkie kind of thing. All right. Yes. And then, you know what <laughs> or if it's or if it's just the bath towels and they're sitting on, um, and they're sitting on the little towel space in the bathroom, that's just going to be a two-way fold than a center fold. You yeah. Okay. Saying? I'll fold in the okay? fold. Okay. okay. Listen, I this is what I do, okay? I folds and shit. I be folding. I'm sorry. I had to remove somebody uh, from the chat. We're not doing that today. Um, <laughs> so, yes. Okay, so also, we got to get into your family life. You have also been podcasting with Jay Valentine. Yes. So talk to me about how that's been going. Going really good. We're getting ready to launch it uh, maybe in a few weeks. Um, just just lining up the episodes, really cool, talking R&B, talking life, 
um, with a lot of cool people, man. Um, and, you know, I felt, I, I felt like us being the authorities in the space and actually still being in the space, like who better to do an R and B podcast than us? You know what I mean? So, um, you know, we, we lining up all the pieces and we'll have, you know, all the guests from Jamie Foxx to Swaggy P to whoever you can name. I will be have we'll, we'll have the first season ready to go really, really soon. And I'm super excited about it. Guys, make sure you tap in for this. I am excited as well. <clears throat> Tank, you are so well respected in the space. You started off um, as a background vocalist. You've been songwriting. And now, you know, we see you as this big superstar. What has probably been, uh, let me just ask what I want to ask. What's the favorite song you've ever written? It could be something you've kept for yourself or something you sold off. I, I don't know that I've written my favorite song yet. Oh, I like that. Yeah, because like I'm, I'm still going. So it's like, I don't really sit and listen to old stuff. Like, ooh, I did that right there. Like. I don't like once an once an album comes out, I I may not hear it again. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I may not ever hear it again. Like yeah. once it's mixed and out and and uh, the, the release album release parties and all those things and we line up the music for the tour and for the shows. Like I don't listen to my music anymore. Yeah, because I'm like I don't want to get stuck in nothing in the past. Like, I, I understand what I've done and what I've been able to do, but the only way I've been able to do that is by continuing to move forward. So I'm still trying to write a better song every day. I'm still trying to beat yesterday. Like, that's that's how I move. You know what I'm saying? Like, so my favorite song, uh, I have no idea. But the ones I got coming out real soon, mm, I got oh! shit. I mean, I, I know you, you sing on your, your Instagram all the time, but can we get a special law, something, nothing? This one is so crazy. This is so, this is going to be a number one record. This is going to be a platinum selling single for sure. It might even make the album go platinum. Okay. I'm telling you, I got a record. So crazy. Talking big talk, so y'all. So disrespectful. It's not even disrespectful. It's just like, I, 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 and I don't even talk like this about my records ever. I, I think my records are cool. Like, quiet is kept. Most people don't know. I don't even really pick my singles. You know what I mean? I let I let other people pick them. I let their reaction. I let the conversation. I let them do that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I just make the music. But right now, I got a record. Oh, it's on fire! Fire, fire! It's on fire. Can we know when it's dropping? We can't. Can we get any details? Saying we ain't gonna get nothing other than just, that it's I'm, the best thing we've ever heard. I'm just lining it up. I'm lining it up. I'm lining everything up so that you know when when I when I attack you guys top of the year, you will feel attacked. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So be on guard, Tank fans. All right, all the soldiers out there. He's about to yeah, get some heat yeah. at the top of the year. So let's make sure our wigs are secured, all right? <laughs> um, so I don't know. What else is next? Talk to me more about the comedy. I know comedy. things are probably a little weird now because our club's even open. Yeah, no, I just did, okay. um, I just did Miami Improv. We did two shows um, with my guy Cisco, Takara, Naeem Lin. <clears throat> and... Um, I mean, great. Uh, pretty much sold out show the first show and, and fully sold out show the last show, the second show, and then went to Atlanta. Did some with my guy Clay at the uh, Uptown Comedy comedy Joint there. We sold that out. Um, and this combination of comedy and music that I'm doing, I mean, I do do stand-up as well. I did mostly stand-up in Miami, but, you okay. know, adding the musical element to it and, and being funny with my own songs and creating comedic moments musically, you know, it's really fun. It's really cool. And so that's like, that's the next space for me. You know what I mean? That. Yeah. And then I'm auditioning. You know what I'm saying? I'm auditioning so I can get some more of these roles. And, um, I know, that's and right. take over this television and film. Yeah. It's growth. Bad and then, security. you know, we got the <laughs> label side of R&B Money still going. Well, we got Feather with our partnership with Motown. Shout out to Motown. She just shot her first video that's getting ready to be super crazy. She's a monster. She play instruments, sing, write, produce, 
dance, wow. all of the above. Um, so we got that going. Uh, somebody said they need a Marvin Gaye biopic. Hey, listen, all I gotta do is call. All I gotta do is call the guy, man. Just, just you know. <laughs> I don't know if they they looking for love in all the wrong places. Tell them to call the guy. <laughs> uh, but um, all these things are happening, and they're they're new adventures that I think you know are gonna keep me busy for like you know for 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 a good long time. Um, in terms of my artistry, I think I'm coming to a close. You know what I'm saying? In terms of like consistently putting out albums and stuff like no, that. No, don't ever say that. Well, you I mean, can just do it look, all. Just in the way that I do it, you know what I mean. It's like the things that I want to build up on on the other side um, of my gifts are going to take the same amount of time and dedication that I put into this this artistry. You know what I'm saying? In order for them to be on a level, so you know I have to give I have to give them um, just attention. You know what I'm saying? Like I got I got to really commit um, in order to do it the right way. You know what I mean? To really get the most That's out of fair. it. So, you know, I mean, I'm not going to leave music, but it's just not going to be like, you know, tank driving out every year or every year and a half or tank driving a movie every year. Or tank comedy special is dropping, you know, that like, like all of those things rounded out. And then you're like, oh my God, he's also going to do an album. That, like, yeah, all of yeah. Those things instead, you know, not just living for one moment, but living for all of them. I love that. I, I can't be mad at that. You are multi-talented, and it would be unfair for you to not be able to express all of that and explore it. So yeah. we're going to be supporting you regardless of how I often we get music or not. <laughs> you actually sound, and I know you mentioned him already, Jamie Foxx is like a friend, big brother, what have you. Mm -hmm. What have you learned from him that you can share with us that you're implementing in your own career? Um, being around Jamie was crazy because, because in the beginning, like I've always been like a uh, nice guy. Um, I've always been like funny and I've always, you know, tried to, you know, be um, as much of a host as I can as possible. But, you know, when I first got around Jamie, I would watch him host, host these parties and host these rooms. And I mean, he made everybody feel like, like, I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Like individually. Now like, like the group, like I'm glad we all came together, but he made every person somehow, some kind of way, made up them feel special about being there. Like I'm so happy that you made it, man. Man, look at you. Wow. Like and I was like, how is he doing this? You know what I mean? And he would he was not a typical celebrity because celebrities just walk in, find a spot, perch up and wait for people to come to them. And Jamie would come in and completely diffuse the room by going to everybody. Like, like you're not here to serve me. I'm here to serve you. Wow. I'm going to take care of you. And that's one of the biggest lessons that I learned from being with Jamie Foxx. Like, he just, he's, he's, he, he's, really, for, he's really for the people. Wow. He's really of the people. Like, like one time I was, I was in Vegas for a fight and Jamie just came walking through the lobby of the Mandalay Bay by himself. I was like, I was like, where are you going? Oh, I'm about to go to my car. I said, man, you're Jamie Foxx. Why right. are you no yourself? security, you no entourage. Tank, ain't nobody gonna fuck with me, Tank. I'm for the people. <laughs> <laughs> and he was right. People might have wanted a picture or might have wanted to say hi, but he didn't put himself in a space to 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 make them feel like he was above or beyond them. And I think that's the, that's the, that's a testament to just, you know, just staying rooted and grounded um, in reality. You know what I'm saying? And, and he's, that, that, that's a lesson. I mean, outside of learning, learning comedy from him and, um, you know, um, entertainment on different levels from TV to film, you know what I'm saying? Like that lesson right there of truly being for the people is, is man, I can't think of a better lesson to have. Uh, that is a great lesson. And like you said, it, it helps him have less enemies, I guess, <laughs> like when you're approachable. I feel like I see that with newer artists or like underground artists. They're so stuck up and like 
so ready to be Hollywood, if you would. But the right. biggest celebrities are usually not. They're like really humble and chill. And well, it's it's, like, and it's like, and sometimes when it comes to doing deals, and I don't people think people realize this, is that like when the when when the when the fire isn't so high, you know what I'm saying, and light's going just a little dim, you know what's gonna make a person, what's gonna make a person pick you, you know what I'm saying? Like in situations, I've been picked just because I was liked. Yeah. Not because my record was the hottest or not even because I was probably going to draw in more people. But I fuck with Tank. I like yeah. man, that's a, that's a good guy right there. Like like let's work with him. I want to be around him. Yeah. The energy, it's the energy, it's the energy, it's the vibe. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so those are the things that helped me survive in this business when my flame wasn't so hot, so hot. When my light wasn't so bright. People remembered that when I came and I showed up, I showed out. I yeah. went above and beyond. And and that's the thing that, you know, that, of course, that Jamie Foxx affected. That's a game right there, guys. Now, we've seen Jamie cover several roles in his career, action, comedy, serious roles. What would be your dream, your dream role? My dream is action. Uh, I can see that. <laughs> My dream is action. My dream is like, like, like being in a movie with The Rock or something. We like saving, or Idris Elba, we saving the whole day. You know what I'm saying? We just save, we just save the hood from Russian insurgents who are trying <laughs> to flood the streets with cocaine, and we, and we are not having it, okay? You're not flooding our streets, okay? And we have military background. We also have friends who have military background, and we're going to start shooting some shit up in the name of our hood. <laughs> I see it. So you kicking indoors and you shooting shit up. I'm here for We it. find off the porches. It's going to be greens falling out the pot. It's going to be cornbread all over the place. I'm trying to tell you, we saving the hood from the Russians. That's what we're doing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. I can't let you get out of here without singing something. I was trying to set it up before, and I don't think I did a strong enough job. I don't think so. I have the, the voice to... I, I, I don't even think I got the... I don't think you could have an off the day. The voice, I, I can't. I think on your worst day, you still probably sound amazing. <laughs> nice like this. <laughs> Brain drops. <laughs> nice like this. I wish. I can't. I had not even prepared to sing. I've been. Oh, we get the keyboard too. I, I love you, Tay. You always take care of me. I Crazy <laughs> Look at this, y'all. Look at what he's doing. Okay, he's about to give y'all a whole, oh, a whole man. little you know moment. Crazy. I don't have a stand. Hey. Oh no. Oh, I don't. If have I could hold it, I would. <laughs> I don't have a stand. Somebody quoted the movie. It was like, I still got it. <laughs> I still got it. <laughs> How does it feel to be me? <laughs> Somebody said, put it on the couch. They know your house? <laughs> no, I mean, the couch is way back there. It ain't going to work. They, 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 listen, they don't, they don't, they don't know the, the space. The space is, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Space sexy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you and they get work, work done. Yeah, and then you got, the, you got the mic over there sitting in the cognac chair. Yeah, look at that sign. Out. It's that RB money. Get some vocals out. You feel me? You feel me? <laughs> ain't bothering nobody. Let me see what that is. Ah, right, there we go. Adrian True, you too funny. He know the whole movie. <laughs> he keep coming up with more lyrics. Yes, he got all the lines. Eleanor. <laughs> Um, uh, dun, 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 dun. oh, yeah, 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 um, do I have something? I was gonna try to play something, but I don't even know what to. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Okay. 
what are you, what are you over there doing? <laughs> I'm excited. You was like, here we go. I was like, yes, okay. You about see. to get this tune. I just stopped sweating. You about to heat me up again. My voice is itchy and scratchy, so don't <clears throat> don't pay my voice no more. We won't judge. <laughs> I'm better than this. Um, let me see. Where is it? Okay. H Town. I'm not from Houston, but I live here now. Oh shoot, that's why. How about that? How about to turn the speakers it's on. It's not plugged in. Oh. How about I turn the speakers on? You feel me? How about I get some sound going out this thing? Y'all are really here in the building. There we go. One of my stuff is on. <laughs> they say get it right. We wait. I'm trying. <laughs> That's some Teddy Brown. I got some technical difficulties. Listen, while he's setting up, why don't y'all share it with a friend right now? Share this live. Tell them what's about to go down. Tell them to come on in. Don't be stingy. <laughs> oh, there you go. It does work. I can only pay my hand. Now I got to figure out how to make shit. Kansas City. I used to live in St. Louis, so I know about the Midwest, too and all around the country. I appreciate all you guys for your compliments. Isn't that a tank song compliment? <laughs> yeah, it looks, I hope we didn't lose him, lose him. But he has a little spinning wheel right now, guys. So just be patient. He's setting up. Um, I'm sure when he gets it together, he'll be back. But like I said, in the meantime, guys, feel free to share this with a friend. Okay, yeah, I think he might have got kicked out or something. How you share a live. So when you're watching it, there's like a little paper plane looking thing. That's the share button. Um, okay, let's kick him out. And we're going to bring him back. Instagram don't do me today. <laughs> oh, I don't know what's happening. Um, all right, here's a question. If we have to stop this, and start again. Are y'all gonna come back? Please say yes. Please say yes. He's waving. Okay, if you can see him, great. I can't, but I'm gonna let him do his thing. Let me pull it up on my computer real quick. He's in the comments, right? Guys, we might have to um, do this again. You guys only see me right now, right? Hmm. All right, you guys. I'm about to take this risk. I'm going to end the live, and I'm going to come right back. So come right back, all right? Thank you for tuning in. Come.